Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be exploring the flavors of Rome. We're going to be cooking Bucatini Amatra Chiana, which is pasta with tomato, cheese, and bacon. Today we're going to be using guanciale. Uh, guanciale is a pork product, great porky goodness, lots of flavor, it's cured. Uh, it's from the cheek of the pork, the guancha. So right now what we're doing is we're going to uh, render the fat out and we're going to make them nice crispy bits of porky goodness here. So I got my bucatini cooking. Okay, nice salted water. Not a lot of salt this time because your, your guanciale is going to lend salt to the dish, so you're not going to need much. So in this dish, you got your pasta, you got your guanciale, onions, garlic, tomatoes, a little bit of pepperoncino, a little hot pepper, and pecorino and romano. Now this is the classic recipe. So I'm trying to stick with, you know, what is, what is classic, okay? So we got this uh, cooking right now. We're going to add a little bit of fresh garlic to it. I'm going to just give this a crush. Okay, and a quick chop. Okay. We're doing a serve, we're doing it one serving. So we're just going to get that going. I'm going to turn that down just a wee bit. And while that's going, now don't bring your garlic, whatever you do, don't bring your garlic. We're going to add our onion. A little bit of your, your red pepper. Okay, we're just going to let that sort of meld together, marry those flavors. And you can see the fat coming out of the guanciale. Now guanciale is kind of hard to find, and it can be a little expensive. So if you want to use bacon, you know, good quality bacon, or pancetta, that's fine too. But today we're sticking what, with what is classic. Uh, this dish is well known throughout Rome. The, uh, it, this, as the story goes, the shepherds in the fields, whatever they had in their knapsack, typically is what they made, you know, their meals with. A hunk of pork. A hunk of cheese, they could come across an egg or a tomato, or get some uh, nicely made tomato sauce from the lady down the way. That's what they did. Okay? So we're going to add a little tomato. As you can see, the pork is uh, doing its thing. Now, if you've ever hand crushed tomatoes, okay, there's a little tip. When you crush them, just don't crush them like that. Seeds will fly out. They'll get on your nice shirt like this one. You want to go in with your thumb through the side and, and crush them like that, okay? Just use your thumb and hopefully they won't be spitting at you, okay? So we're doing one serving here. We're going to add some tomatoes. These are my hands, I know, but it's my kitchen. I can do what I want. And then add a little bit of the juice. Because I like it, the juice. Okay, just a little bit. Alright. We got our sauce going. This is classically Roman. And use you can use uh, Parmigiano Reggiano if you want. But what is classic is Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano is a nice, salty, crumbly sheep's milk cheese. I think it's fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Now while this is the pasta is cooking, I'm going to see how we're doing here. Okay, as you can see, it's not quite done now. 
But a little bit about Bucatini. Buco means hole in Italian. And there's a little hole that runs through that. So when you get it on the plate, the pasta sort of has a mind of its own. It's a little thicker than spaghetti, so it's kind of fun to eat. You know, wiggles around and moves around. But anyway, that's on a side note. So we're going to add a little bit of our pasta water to help thicken the sauce a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, our pasta is ready. What we're going to do, we're going to take our pasta right out of the water and right into the sauce, okay? And what makes me crazy about some restaurants that serve their pasta is they do not finish the pasta in the sauce. They're missing the boat completely. This is where you get all your flavor into the pasta, okay? The, the, the sauce is supposed to be a condiment. It's what they call condimento. It should be, you know, part of the dish, not all of the dish. So don't drown your pasta in loads of sauce, okay? So we're going to finish this off. Give this a nice little stir. Let it cook in the, the sauce. As you can see, it's not, it's just not drenched in sauce. Very rustic dish. One last, one last blast here, and I think we'll be ready. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. All right. We're going to take this off the fire, and we're going to add our cheese. You don't want to do that while it's on the fire. Take that off. Because it'll end up cooking the cheese and making the dish an just a huge mess. Okay. Now you see, rustic pasta, rustic dish, absolutely delicious. It's into your in there. There you have it guys. Bucatini Amatraciana Manja.